Hello and welcome back to Door Kickers. Last we left off, we completed IP mission number 9, Preemptive Strike, and now we're moving on to IP mission number 10, One City Night by Ergen Pacer. Who'd have thought? This was actually probably, uh, we still have planning from this over here, uh, from the original time I played this, which was probably a month or two ago, whenever I started the series of uh, Ergen Pacer's maps, because I enjoyed his maps quite a lot, so I just decided, well, I enjoyed this map a lot, so I decided we are going to play through all of them. Uh, pullings, where I have a sniper through here, we're essentially going to follow this trail that I made last time when I originally played it, because having a sniper over here gives us a big advantageous opening of being able to snipe people, shoot them up, you know, stay safe over here. I think pushing through multiple angles is a bit of a foolish strategy. Okay. So I think we're gonna bring Luna, nah, not white, uh, Scotch and Stonehill along with us. Start it up. Uh, we're gonna have Pullings just enter here because I don't know, I think they can see him technically. So Pauline's gonna crouch, actually, and walk up to here, then turn and look. And they can't see him as long as he doesn't stand. So we get to actually see quite a bit of this. Spy camera. So no matter what, this private security is gonna see us and alert them. It's all a matter of taking him out the quickest, so let's have Luna come over here. Scotch is going to be ready to open the store. And there we go. We know he's the only hostile around because, well, we spy camped through there. Now it's all a matter of slowly covering all this. Stonehill's gonna. He's gonna go quiet for a little bit by swapping to a suppressed pistol. They don't know we're here still, which is the advantage. The moment they detect us though, we lose that advantage. So going slow and quiet. Much better than going loud. Unfortunately, we've lost our surprise, so... Pullings can start taking shots like he's doing. Luna's gonna come up here, clear this out. Scotch is gonna come up here. Stonehill's coming up, swapping weapon, hold in there. That's cleared. Luna's now gonna hop over here. We're now fire at will. Polings is very hurt at this moment, so he's gonna pull back just for a bit so that way we could kind of cause some chaos all around. That's. Very unfortunate where all we oh we barely saved Luna, Scotch, and possibly Stonehill there. Uh we now know where the opposition mainly is. Luna's gonna hold back and mainly watch her backs and angles that don't require a lot of movement. That was very, very dangerous there. I somehow handled it. Uh hostile there. We're now going to have Pullings actually place a slap charge here so he'd blow this up but not be near it. And he'll pull back. Because with that, now Pullings can more easily chill. There we go. And pull Pullings down there, and we're good. Uh, we're now gonna pull up just a little bit more of Stonehill, so that way with Scotch we can get a smoke grenade out in that entire area. Stonehill's gonna pull out there, Scotch's gonna come up here, he's actually gonna watch more over there, and Luna's gonna chill a little bit behind up here. And now, Pullings is gonna run over here to assist a little bit in over there. 
Uh, next, we're gonna throw... This is a hostage situation. We do need to get rid of that cover. In real life, I don't think a flashbang would really do much. In a game, such as Door Kickers, that's a free opening for us to get rid of the cover with a flashbang. Now, you know, again, in real life, that's <laughs> not a legitimate tactic. A lot more than I thought. Luckily, Stonehill handled it. I thought Scotch was honestly going to be able to handle a bit more. And Luna. Thank goodness we had Stonehill there. We're doing, yet again, another unrealistic tactic. Just going to hold our angle. Uh, checking ammo counts on everyone. We're doing good. Pulling is going to slap that right there, so that way we can have him kind of just only look down here. Ah, actually, no matter where he goes, it's better for him just to be right here. That allows him to look down the most. Alright. So we still have quite a bit of the map to clear, and some very injured, uh, I was about to say creatures, but uh, these are certainly not creatures, these are soldiers <laughs> with uh, lives, kind of. Did not see that coming. Uh, let's see, that angle, yeah, that's a very small window, but very real possibility of that hitting us and uh, being a threat. Didn't see it coming though, you know. Hindsight is 2020. Can only see so much. Pulling's got our backs. Uh, Scotch, I was gonna have him react and turn around, but uh, luckily, like I said, Pulling's had our backs there. Pulling's is now gonna come over here so he can watch our backs yet again and cover us anything that comes up here while we breach through here nice clean shot and kill from stonehill no threats stonehill has time to reload scotch is just gonna hold these angles now we're gonna move stonehill in here scotch is gonna come around a bit wider I knew that was cleared, but just wanted to kind of check that kitchen as a just in case. And now we're going to move up here. Put a slap charge there, then chill back. Pulling still has us covered from behind. It's good that we're going this way first to kind of clear everything out. Stonehill's coming up here. Scotch is coming here. We seem to... Oh, that's the guy from over there. As I would say, we seem to have a man who somehow died, probably tripped on his shoelaces or something. But uh, no, he is very much still alive. Uh, I don't trust those stairs. That could very well be a nice little reinforcement bit, so we are going to push down this hall without uh, breaking eye contact with them. Okay, so we know where the hostage is, or hostage, the HBT, and we know where a threat is. That man, I don't know what it looked like, it was either a shotgun or an AR. We've had multiple enemies in the past with shotguns on Ergen Pacer maps, so that is a very real possibility. My best bet, I'm gonna have Scotch throw smoke there, and then flashbang right there and then stone hills gonna push in that was very risky having a man with a shotgun kind of clear this don't lose eyes on the hvt uh he's in the smoke right now so we can't see him because uh this this is a game as gameplay mechanics in it have stone hill capture This is an Ergen Pacer map, I should have seen that coming. Well, this is an Ergen Pacer map, I should have seen uh, 
some reinforcements incoming, so this is a little awkward. We're gonna cut back when, uh, we come back in and possibly complete the mission. You know, uh, great map. I do love when the map has reinforcements, especially if it's an HPT map, so I will be right back. I could continue, but there's not much pullings can do from over here. He's stuck here for all eternity. So, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, we've returned with a, a bit of a better setup. I mean, it cheapens the mission a little bit in my opinion, but uh, we won't say no to it. We'll accept this, the HBT spawned in the room that we were breaching in through last time. Uh, so all we really have to do is move Luna up a little bit, move Scotch up. Scotch throws a smoke grenade about right there. Keep us covered while we then apprehend the target. Scotch is gonna keep his back here. Yep. And then Scotch is gonna throw, yeah, another smoke grenade to guarantee that we stay smoked. Luna's gonna go with him. Uh, we're not gonna push in just yet because I want to make ensure that that site is safe. So Stonehill. Pretty good, pretty good. And we're good. Get on in here. Ah, uh, yeah, H HPT. HPT. You, you, you alright? There we go. Just had to push him in a little bit. He, he struggled a little bit, but you know, we, we did good. Uh, new personal best for elapsed time, new personal best for a clean run, and three stars. We did, uh, pretty good overall, even though, uh, I sadly didn't get it on recording, but Pollings may have accidentally shot the HVT on my second try, so that was technically my third try at the mission. That's purely Pollings' fault for just shooting the HVT. Either way, that was a really fun map. A little sad that my third attempt ended that fast. I was not expecting HVT just stand there and not run like he normally does. Overall, good map. I love maps that have reinforcements, so you can't just grab HVT and automatically win. You have to fight your way back. But uh, next time on Door Kickers, if I feel like it, I may continue Urgan Pacer, but if not, I have a bunch of other maps that, well have to play through. So that'll be a lot of fun, try them out. For now though, I will be seeing you guys later.